hello friends hey guys and welcome to today's video it is something totally different something i've never ever done before and i'm a little nervous about it i don't know why i'm actually going in to our mall i put a torrid order in and one of the items i have i need to actually pick up so i figured i would take you guys in the dressing room and try on a bunch of stuff that they have so you can kind of get a look at what's in store right now i have not been into a mall in years years um typically trying stuff on in a a trying on room what's that called changing room is super stressful and brings back it brings many years of childhood trauma from just trying stuff on my whole life and it not fitting and all that fun stuff but i figured i will take you guys in with me and we'll try on stuff together and you can kind of get an idea of like if you want anything or if anything speaks to you and maybe what it looks like on my body so you can have an idea i'm kind of excited i have an event next weekend and i'm super excited about it but it's a dressy thing and I don't do dressy things. So I'm gonna take you guys into the changing room with me and you can see some of the stuff that I would pick out in Torrid. So let's get let's get into it. Why am I nervous? That's so dumb, but I'm nervous. The mall is very intimidating. And I'm just so used to, if you're a big girl your whole life, you're just so used to things not fitting. And Torrid's been great and it's always been there, but it's still a little nerve wracking to try stuff on. So let's do it together. It'll be like if we were going shopping together and we'd be like, oh girl, that's cute. Or, oh girl, that ain't it. Let's do it together. <laughs> Hey friends, your voiceover queen here. So I am going to be taking you through Torrid today. This is what they have for summer. I was shook by these swim capris. Uh, love that. I am going to show you guys what they have in the store currently where I'm at. I did not try any bathing suits on. We're not that bold. But I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching this try on. It's really fun. I am going to talk through it. It's probably super annoying. I'm really winging it here, but... I want to show you guys like what they have for bathing suits in case you're interested. Not necessarily my jam. This kimono was a lot, but you know, it's a moment and you will never catch me in a two piece. But if you love like, you know, two pieces, I say go for it. They're super cute and they have some really, really cute options. This jacket was everything. It's so hot here. I couldn't even think about it. <laughs> I loved the shoes this year. These like are adorable and so on trend. I love that so much. And I actually ended up buying these leopard flip flops. They're so cute and they were on clearance. These are the pants that I get in the very first. It's the trousers and the short. These black lace shorts are so cute and I did not see them originally. They're adorable. I would love, I'm probably gonna go back and get them. They're so, so freaking cute for summer. These are the jeans that I try on. I only had two pairs of pants I tried on. This is the second pair. I really do like the Lux Skinny brand of their jeans and I find they're true to size. also think they probably have the best most high quality dresses that i've tried on for a while now especially for summer dresses they are just very plus size friendly in my opinion they have a nice slip underneath it they're super thick and high quality but like still not too thick for summer this one's adorable and i just think they're really really fun colors this was also super fun not necessarily my style but i i feel like i could see one of my friends wearing this i think she would love it and I think it's just super cute. Time to try on clothes. So this is everything that I ended up picking up to try on. And I thought when I was looking at this that it wouldn't be so overwhelming, um, but it was. And I think I overdid it. This is what I'm planning on wearing to the event. Those are the trouser pants that I got in the short length. I am not short, but I like the way they fit that way with a heel. I also got this blazer and I am wearing a size 24 in pants in a size two blazer with a size three tank top. So just for sizing reference, 
I will say these make my butt look like I have one, which is cool. I felt really vulnerable and large, but I also feel like this is super chic and I can make it cute. I actually own this shirt and I wanted to try it on to show you guys. Please don't mind that you can see my bra through my shirt. You definitely need a tank top for a shirt like this. I think it's really flowy and it's definitely comfortable in the embroiderment or embroidery, whatever that's called. It's cute. With a nude tank top underneath it, I think it's really adorable. I also think it may accentuate my belly a little bit, which, you know, YOLO. I bought this. Just for like a warning, I bought this shirt. And it's not even the most flattering thing on me. But when something is cool and like ripped like that, I don't know. I just end up buying it. <laughs> Along with this really cute sunflower kimono. This is a size 2 for reference and it is adorable. Next is this really cute outfit. Those are the jeans and this embroidered tank top. I found this was a little tight, so I'd probably size up if you want it loose. This is a size two and I have one of their jean jackets on. Uh, really, really cute and I'm turning bright red. <laughs> Love that for me. This is an outfit I would totally wear and that I would feel comfortable in, but it's not necessarily summer appropriate. Uh, but I think it's adorable and super fun. This shirt made me look like I was 500 pounds and nothing. That's a bad thing, but it made me so uncomfortable. Like it just was not flattering. Obviously I didn't have the right bra on. It made me red instantly because I felt like I was 15 all over again. Time for a fan break. Bless it, bless it. This is probably cute on someone else, but I found on me the off the shoulder thing just didn't work and the straps were long and it just was a flop. This dress is adorable so cute i am not a fan of this length for some reason i feel like it makes me look bigger than i am but i feel like i'm just really uncomfortable in my own skin right now so everything makes me feel big because i think i would give it a 10 out of 10. the color is super fun it would be really cute for beach, beach pictures i don't know i think it's probably flattering for my size but also maybe not because of stripes what do you think this shirt may be cute on someone else not for me uh, I would size down in this. It's really long, really big. This was a size three. I like my shirts big, but it was way big. But the embroiderment's super cute. Fun sleeves, not necessarily my cup of tea. And we're done. I have the AC blasting. That is a try on haul. I actually took you guys around the store too and showed you some really cute stuff. There's no ever loving way I could try on everything. I will show you what I got. My goal going there was to get stuff for the event that I'm going to, which I did. Um, I also had to pick up a pair of shoes from Dillard's. I don't, I kind of tried them on. I don't think they're gonna work for me, but I'm gonna show them to you because they're super cute. I actually have another pair coming from Amazon that I think will do better and are less expensive. So I'm gonna, show you those when they come in but Torrid has really cute stuff back in the day the whole trying on stuff in that dressing room felt very lauren circa 2003 when i was like could not find clothes to fit me they had Torrid back then but in Torrid back then was like yeah skulls rocker and that was just not my aesthetic i was like a preppy i was like a preppy little twit <laughs> so I had a couple stores that fit me, but it wasn't stuff that I liked, so I had very flashbacks. I wish I, I wish they had stuff like they do now when I was growing up because it wouldn't have been so hard to find stuff back then, but trying stuff on and sweating and turning bright red in the dressing room was very traumatic. <laughs> Triggering all of those things, it was a lot. It was a lot. Hold on. But they have such cute stuff right now for summertime. Like such cute stuff. I'll show you guys what I got. I ordered some stuff online and when it gets here, um, if I don't love it, I'll probably just return it, which is great. And I had to size down on the blazer that I picked up because I didn't realize I needed to size down. But overall, super cute stuff. Um, and it's more than likely a like voiceover so you guys can hear more about like the sizing and the styles and I will link everything down below for you guys so that if you do like it you can purchase online but yeah the shorts I will say towards shorts you're gonna have to size up in those if you have a belly like I do I have two kids and I have like a big belly I have a giant belly and the shorts are so short the ones that I tried on I couldn't even like show them to you and I sized up in them and I would have to size up again in order for them to 
maybe fit me so maybe keep that in mind when you're buying shorts but they have the best jeans and the best pants and the slacks are so cute 10 out of 10 they have really really cute stuff in true lauren fashion it is the next day thank you guys for being so supportive and loving and kind and everything when it comes to videos right now i'm managing two kids home for summertime and we're working it out where is he? Where's what? Uh, get your cup and I'll get it for you. But the outfit I did end up getting was the very first one, which is like the blazer and the slacks with the black shirt. And I also got the Boston t-shirt because... I don't know, I just felt like looking pretty like a cool girl. But those are the things I ended up getting from Torrid. Thank you guys so much for watching this. It's not something I typically do, but I had a good time doing it. I did sweat, um, it was hot. And uh, I won't be trying on a lot of stuff for a really long time, but it was a good time and I hope it helps you guys out or maybe it doesn't or maybe it's just fun to watch. But thank you guys so much for watching and supporting our family and loving us. And we will see you guys in the next video. Have a beautiful day. Bye friends.